Hey guys, welcome to the second part of this tutorial. For the first one, I show you how to download your videos into YouTube Downloader in keepvid.com. Once you have selected your different points of, you know, of your videos to make GIFs out of, you're going to, you know, do at least minimum of 3. This one has a lot because, you know, I wanted to show a lot. But for yours, just to start, you could even just do two. If you want to do three, knock yourself out. So for right now, this video is going to be my main um, GIF, which is going to be like the background. And then I'm going to do different circles that's going to appear on it. Put for right here. So I figured the size is two, you know, 300 by 230. So I have to make sure I don't cut off too much of the vid because I want to put the circles here. Or maybe I should put them in the corner. You know what, let me see how the video will look with it. Hmm, I think I might have to shift her around. So I'm going to do that right now. This way I can be able to put them all in one corner. So I do that. You don't have to do this, it's just uh, for me. It's another thing you guys could learn from. If you're ever curious, you know, how to flip things, how does this is look with that, flip horizontal, next one, flip horizontal, you have to do it for each layer with the um, edit transform, because if you do it through the image, it the whole GIF is going to flip. So, this is why I do it through Edit, Transform. Alright, so everything now should be in one in one area, you see? Because all of them are, are over here and this space is open. So I want it that way. So now I'm just going to resize it just a little bit, see? Because they would be in that corner, okay. Maybe just right there. Let's see how it looks. <clears throat> Perfect. All right, now three hundred by two thirty is about that height. All right, and I'm going to do. You know, I'll do the speed later. So now I grab this one and think I might do it for the other way. This one I could flip it off because it's going to be on this corner that way, so it's a good idea to have it facing the other way. Something when you're an art student you have to know how to that diagnose certain ways that should be facing. It's just one of those things as an art student. And so I think it should be like a 100 by 100 because I don't want it to be too big. Let me see how it look like. Make sure it's not overwhelming. So if I do a circle of that Let me see how it will look. Looks not bad. Okay. So I'm going to do it in this corner. And so what I do is you go to the GIF and then you go to the first layer and then go all the way to the top. Hold your shift and then point to the last layer. And I'm not sure if I already told you guys, make sure all your um, your clips are all the same um, layers. Like all my layers for each one of these is 19 layers. 
I know it doesn't look like that right here because I skipped some scenes so that it could go a little bit faster. Because when you do the YouTube download or, or keep vid, it will do every split, you know, second in that video. It doesn't do like one second. It does like a zillion different movements between seconds. So that's why I skipped between them. So every one of them has 19. And so, um... You know what, let me do the folder first. Do a group folder. And this one I'm going to call it snail circle one. And then I do what I just showed you guys. Go to the first one, to the top. And then do it like that. Then you close it. Because I'm going to show you something afterwards. And then you do that for each one. And I'm going to resize this real fast. Same thing that you just did for um, this, what I did for the snail. And it's going to be 100 by 100. And then I'll make the folder at the top. Not the layer, I want the folder. There we go. Bottom to the top drag the um, layers into the folder like that close it and this one I'm going to call it um, ball circle 2 and then the third one is the scare which should be highlighted around this area let me see yeah like there and then you do the click on the top fold, then do the folder, not layer. It's the scare. And circle three. And drag it to the folder, close it. And I have to resize it to 100. And I think the last one, I'm going to do something different. And so now, I have that. And what I'm going to do is the circle, which I'll do it on the top. And I right click on the rectangular marquee tool area, which is usually the second one. And I hit elliptical marquee tool. And then... I should have a circle around that much. And then what I'll do is I'll fill it with, um, let's make it a white color. And you see how it shows up for all of them? And then what I do is I'll do Control D to deselect and then click on the folder with a GIF and then go to the layer of the circle and then you click on the quick selection tool and then make sure it's on the plus then what I'll do is I'll highlight the whole circle like that you see how it highlights the circle then after you do that click on the folder area and then go to the bottom of the layer thing and it says add layer mask just click that and then once you do that, um, delete the circle one, but I'm going to put it into another um, icon thingy for now because I, I still need that circle. And then delete it. And if you look, that's how you do a shape on um, the GIF. And if you play it, it's the circle, which is pretty cool. But um, we're not done there. So, if you take the main GIF, which is the background, and then what you do is you drag it to a desired area you want it to show up under. And um, I'm going to do it any area for now because I have to move them around. So, for now, it's just going to be there. And then this will minimize it. And then you'll do the same thing for the other ones. 
which this one I want it to be background background um circle so you move it to wherever you want it and when you move the circle make sure that is you're highlighted on the first um layer frame thing and then I'll do control T so that it could be kind of like in the middle in a sense uh, but and then you do the arrows on your keyboard so that you get it better because otherwise it's just gonna go up under and like that and then same thing that you know I showed you do the quick selection and then it's highlighted then click on the folder and then go to the bottom do a quick selection mask layer mask then delete the um, circle but I uh, needed to for the third one so just gonna drag into that one and then I'll delete from this one so we have that and then drag it to the main chip thing and this one I probably want it like in that area right there and for the other one I'm gonna drag it to the top top because I want it to be over this one and I think I might do it like right there would that be covering it too much? Uh, not too much a little bit on the first guy but that's okay let me see maybe a little bit like that Move it to the top top. And these guys are not moving, but I'm going to show you how to move them. And make sure I still have time up. Oh, I think we're going to have to do a second part to this. Anyway, so. And then we do the third one. Same thing. Control T to move the circle for it to be a little bit more centered. Uh, a little bit more. There we go. Then quick selection, and then go to the folder, do a quick selection, delete dot circle because I won't need it anymore, and then drag it to the top, and it's going to be around there like that 